Peter Saunders is from the National Association for People Abused in Childhood. Good evening, Peter. Good evening. The, the only question is, how on earth could this have happened? Ooh, this is one of so many reports that has been coming out over the last few years. In fact, over the last few decades, we've seen inquiries and reports. And um, it kind of takes a lot to, to shock me now. Um, but this is shocking, and the nation should be shocked. And the apologies that are being issued by the authorities, you know, they should be heartfelt. And the man who stepped down did the appropriate thing. But I think what this is, it's, it's a wake-up call to the extent of the problem of childhood abuse. And our colleagues at the NSPCC will confirm that one in four children in this country suffers childhood abuse of one form or another. So this 1,400 children, and many of those children that w are in the report are children who would have been put into care, probably because something was happening to them at home in the first place. So this is a double whammy of the worst kind for many of those children. But it's a wake-up call to the government to get their act together, to appoint somebody with huge credibility to head up this national inquiry that we've been calling for for a long time. And, and to start to actually make a difference and to protect our children. Because at NAPAC, every day, as you know, Matt, we hear from dozens upon dozens of people mm. whose lives have been blighted by abuse. And these poor young people in Rotherham and all the other places, they're going to have to live with the consequences of, of, of these dreadful crimes for the rest of their lives. Because we say, we said at the start, the number 1,400 over a 16-year period in Rotherham is an unfathomable figure. Yeah. But the fact that there were reports they were being traffic to other towns and cities does suggest this is the tip of a national iceberg. It, it absolutely is. And again, reiterating what colleagues at the NSPCC say, one in four children, and we have to remember, and we've discussed it here before, the vast majority of children who are abused uh, are abused by somebody within the home. And that's an even more uncomfortable fact, I think, is the fact that children, you know, most children, thank God, are safe. But those one in four children who are not safe are most in danger from somebody living under the same roof of them. It's, them. it's interesting because you talk about that one in four children figure being abused. Also, one in four children in this country are living in poverty. Yeah. Is there a link between the two? And, you know, as a country, are we just letting down our children too easily here? Um, I, I think... You, you've got something there, and I think this is a societal problem, and I think society deals with this issue, or fails to deal with this issue, in the same way that families, when abuse is exposed, want to deal with it, and that is to sweep it under the carpet. It's gone on for generations. We're talking about it at long last. We need Theresa May to appoint a credible uh, uh, figurehead to, to head up this inquiry, and most importantly, it has to involve survivors of abuse. It would be no use if it's simply left to academics and professionals, because they're the very people that have consistently let down children in, in, in this country.